we also published um, a new version of PowerShell deployment. Very excited about this one. Uh, it went up to the branch first, the, the, the restart with the Azure development branch here, and then went into the master yesterday morning. So two releases in two days. Very excited about this one. And I wanted to show some of the changes that we did primarily into the deployment wizard for PSD. For those of you that are new to PSD, it's an extension of MDT that uh, fully gives you Windows 11 platform support in it. We enabled in deployment over HTTPS, so you can do cloud imaging. We added in peer-to-peer -peer support, so you can leverage branch cache to do peering or content. But long story short, it's a deployment solution that works out of the web server. So you can host that web server in your local data center. You can have it in your on your laptop if you want, on a Windows 10 box or Windows 11 box. But more commonly, you have it up in the cloud somewhere so that you can image devices wherever they are. So Azure, Amazon, whatever you like. So if I jump over to one of my test servers here, I'm going to boot up a virtual machine. And Boot up from a media here and wait patiently until WinP loads. So we are leveraging uh, background info, uh, sys internals in the background to update the text while the WinP start to figure out what it needs, do some pre work check checking the configuration of the network, making sure you have enough disk and memory and whatnot. Uh, to the right, you see a fairly new menu option where you can show your hard drives, you can configure static IP if you want, and you can also wipe hard drives if needed uh, in between the attempts. But this is what the new deployment wizard looks. This one has been mainly developed by uh, Mr. Dick Tracy. He works for Microsoft and he's been helping us with this wizard for a good two and a half years now, uh, maintaining it and making it better. But this is a truly wizard in, oh, sorry, truly PowerShell driven wizard. So no compiled binaries, no nothing, just PowerShell, a lot of PowerShell. So anywho, go through this one. There is a readiness page, uh, pick a sequence, pick a hard drive. This is something that even MDT doesn't have, but we added that in. Uh, give it a name, PC number 15. Uh, pick a device role. And this is something you usually use to uh, assign list of applications or list of settings. In this case, I'm picking a developer station. Uh, Intune group, allowing you to add machines into Intune, uh, typically through a web service or just a custom script. And then admin credentials, regional settings, Add a quick summary. And like the normal MDT deployment wizard, uh, these wizard panes can be toggled on or off. And then there is a summary screen, and off you go. And from now on, it's just a regular uh, MDT sequence. The difference is, if I minimize this one here, behind the scenes, if I look into the folder where we have the stuff, in a normal MDT deployment share, you have like 200 some VB scripts here. Here you find just PowerShell script instead. So we basically intercept the calls from the sequence. Every time the sequence tries to launch a VB script, we smack it on the fingers and say, nope, use this PowerShell script instead. So that's how it works. So yes, very, very excited to, uh, to show this or share this information. We've been working on it for quite a while. Uh, hoping that you will try this one out, give us feedback. Uh, if you stumble across something, file an issue, we'll try to get to it. But all in all, quite happy with this one.